you guys, it's Lindsay here, and this week I did a little bit of online shopping. I went to fabric.com to pick out some fabrics. Well, it wasn't supposed to be fabrics plural, it was supposed to just be one fabric. But I had told you guys that I was really interested in making the border print version of M7544 um, version B that has in the little drawing the um the little border print and then they even put it here on the yoke and I thought that that was so adorable. So I wanted to try and recreate that. So I went on to fabric.com to see what they had in the way of border prints and I ended up coming away with three of them. So this fabric haul is all about border prints and I think that border prints are super fun and they're a really great way to take a garment or take a pattern that might otherwise be sort of basic and really give it something that you can't find everywhere. I mean, I don't see a lot of border print type of stuff done in the retail world. And I think mostly that's because it takes a lot more fabric to do that. You know, you, if you only have the pattern on the on the selvage edges of the fabric, you have to use more of it to make sure you get that, that to make sure you get that pattern placed in the right places, if that makes any sense. And so I think it's really expensive for places um, to do that. So I don't really see it a lot. Maybe also I'm not looking for it, I don't know. Do you guys see it out there a lot? I don't. And I just love making it because like I said, it takes an ordinary pattern and it really elevates it into something unique and special. So here are the three fabrics that I got from fabric.com. I haven't even taken them out of the plastic yet. Um, I posted on Instagram that I got the end of the bolt on one of them, which is just like Christmas. It is like the best feeling in the world when you see that sticker on your fabric.com order. Um, if you don't know, it means that they were measuring out your fabric and they were, I think, within a yard of the end of the bolt maybe more than that and they give you all that's left and you don't have to pay any more for it so that's really cool and a lot of fun um so it's like christmas but okay so this first one is most similar to the example that is on the pattern um this is oh and all three of these two are also from telio i really love that manufacturer i think they do a really good job and the prices of their fabrics are to me always very affordable and always a really good value good quality um and in comparison to what they cost so this is their denim embroidered single border floral in yellow red and purple now they do also have one and it was out of stock. Sorry, I have my computer over here to help me remember um, everything I have. Oh, they got more of it in though. Okay, so they have another one that is denim embroidered single border floral in red, turquoise, and pink. And when I did this order last week, they were out of stock, but now they have 94 yards of that in stock, which is really exciting. That one's really pretty too. Um, this one they have 91 yards of as of it's Thursday night about 8 30 at night and that's what they have I don't know how quickly they sell out um, but they have a lot of really pretty versions of the chambray with the embroidery um, I'll also tell you about another one that I really liked this one is has a, like all white embroidery and it is the denim embroidered single border floral in white um, and they have 98 yards of that in stock Okay, so here's the one that I got and wow, it is very colorful. Here, I'll show you. Um, and the border is like, I, I remember thinking to myself, I think that they said the border was 11 inches, no, 18 inches from the selvage edge. And I remember thinking, gosh, that sounds like a lot. But man, when you see it in person, it's like, whoa. Um, it is a lot of embroidery, but it's really pretty embroidery. I just almost burned my hand. Um, it's really pretty embroidery, I feel like. So here, I'm trying to get it as even as possible. Ugh. Um, so there it is. You can kind of imagine what it would be like as a top. It's like a lot more, a lot higher than I thought it would be. Actually, it would be a little bit lower than this because... I have I would have that yoke but either way you get the idea 
that's what this one is going to look like. I don't know, now that I'm seeing it, and now too that I know I got the extra yardage, maybe it will become a dress. Because can't you see like the whole top bodice part being, whoa, <laughs> being um, the chambray and then this sort of starting at the hip line and going down. So yeah, I'll have to measure out and see exactly how much extra yardage I got and see if I would have enough to make a dress because you have to order more yardage than what the pattern calls for um, because you can only cut your pieces out of this portion of it and all the rest of this goes to waste basically because you can't um, you, know, you can't cut the the hem pieces out of any of this so you don't lay out your pattern pieces like the most efficient way you lay them out in the most beautiful way where it will show off the border print so yeah maybe this might become a um a dress and also they also mentioned this in the description and i thought it was really clever and i don't know why i never thought of it before but it makes a ton of sense they actually stopped the embroidery like a few inches before the selvage so that you have enough space to do your hem so that you can finish off your hem right where the embroidery ends and you still have enough um, to like form an actual hem so i thought that that was really cool and very smart and would yield like a professionally looking a professional looking hem and garment whenever you're done so yeah that's this one very very colorful and a lot of embroidery i mean it is like they said 18 inches of embroidery and it's you can tell all the work that's done on the opposite side that's really cool you know i've seen a ton of embroidered stuff lately um where was i probably white house black market i saw some stuff was it like a shoot i don't remember what it was now but um michelle from style maker fabrics text messaged me earlier today with a picture that she found from anthropology where they had taken sort of like a lone tree jacket from um indie so and embroidered the heck out of that and it was really pretty so i feel like embroidery is making a really strong case for itself this season um and it's and like i said it's really beautiful so i'm excited about that there's like little hearts and flowers and yeah so that one's cute excellent that's sort of exactly what i had in mind maybe it was a little bit taller than i had thought but that's okay, it can still work. We'll play around with it and see what happens. Okay, the next one is the Robin Crepe, let me find it. Robin Crepe Floral Double Border Print in Navy. So if you remember my cold shoulder dress that I made, um, that was a Telio fabric, but it was a less expensive one. Um, I wanna say it was seven or eight dollars a yard. Uh, this one is $11 a yard, and that pattern called for a lot of yardage, especially if you were going to do it with a border print, you would need even more. So I was really hesitant to invest in the expensive fabric because I wasn't sure if I was going to love that pattern or not. And I really, really do love that pattern. I get a gazillion compliments every single time I wear it. So I don't know for sure if I'm going to make another one of those or not, but I decided to invest in the fabric and man this stuff is nice it's 100 percent polyester i think but gosh it feels very silky it must be very tightly woven or something like that it is really really nice so i think this one too is a double border print so you're gonna have the border on both selvage edges and it looks like the border is pretty subtle so let me try and find like closer to the middle so yeah that's about almost exactly the middle there so you can tell it's pretty subtle it's not i guess i thought well i don't know what i thought maybe there'd be more navy but you can see the flowers kind of just disappear into nothing but all the rest of this is all floral until you get to the other side which again they fade into nothing so yeah but it's got a lot of really great drape to it what um it's crepe is yeah poly crepe 
um, 58 inches wide, super, super soft. And it's just got a really beautiful drape and kind of like air about it. I don't know, I really love it. It feels so good against the skin. And I think that those colors are so pretty. It's gonna be a very elegant dress. This would be really pretty for um, like Easter dresses or like any cute daytime dress. I think this would be really pretty for, yeah. I love it, I'm excited. I'm glad I waited to make sure that I loved it, you know? Um, or that I really, really wanted it. So now that I have it, I feel like I really appreciate it a lot more and it didn't fe didn't feel like a purchase that I made in haste. It felt like something I'd kind of been thinking about for a few months. So that always feels better. So yeah, that's this one. And I don't think they have, okay, so they do have one other colorway. And I think it's a black background. Yeah, crepe floral double border print in black. And those flowers are more like reds and yellows and oranges versus this one that has this like periwinkle and green and red and pink. So yeah, love those. And um, the one, this one here only, they don't have a ton in stock, only 17 yards in stock. So be mindful of that. Oh, and that was the other thing. So they actually offer this bulk in bulk pricing. So if you buy three or more yards of this, you get it for $8.78. That was the another big reason why I bought it because it's normally $10.98 and I knew I would need the extra yardage anyways because I would be making something, you know, utilizing the border print. And so if you bought more, then you saved 20% and it only became $8.78 a yard which is a really good deal. This is this is very nice fabric for $9 a yard, I feel like. I would probably, if I were like in New York and someone said $15 a yard, I'd probably pay that. It feels that nice. And the colors are just very crisp and vibrant. Yeah, this is super nice. So yeah, I, bulk pricing. So yeah, if you're gonna make a dress and you need three or four yards anyways, you should get the navy one because the black one, they are not, okay, so the black one, they are offering it, but you have to buy four yards. And when you do that, it still only gets the price down to $9.88. So the navy is a better price than the black, hands down. You only save 10% on the black. So go for navy, obviously, right? Unless you just love black and then you don't mind paying extra. Still $9.88 a yard, is that what it was? $9.88 a yard for this is still a really good price. So like I said, I would have paid close to $15 for it and probably wouldn't have thought twice about it. So, so yeah, I love that one. So my last one, this was sort of the most intriguing and also kind of the most exciting, if I dare say. This is a laser cut, double border print, stretch suede, and they call the color Sun. And before I say too much more about it, I'll say this is $7 a yard. <laughs> so I was like, laser cut double border stretch suede that sounds super expensive and super nice how in the world is it $6.98 a yard um, also I want to note this is not Telio this is not um, I don't know who the manufacturer of this one is but it's not Telio um, it just says made in the USA or imported <laughs> it's just very big um, anyways so you know I was like how in the world is this seven dollars what is it gonna be like so I decided to go for it and um, cute and uh, I ordered three yards of this as well it's hundred percent polyester and it is lightweight um, so here is the border print and like I said this is on both sides so you can tell it's really cute they have like this adorable scalloped and laser cut trim really really cute and pretty and the color is almost like I don't know like a purpley mauve does that even sound pretty to you all <laughs> it is really pretty it's like a pinky purple mauve beige I mean what do they call it sun they called it yeah sun I don't know why they call it sun I would think sun would be yellow this is more like sand or something but yeah I think it's pretty and then the um the the back side of it is sort of uh, not satin backed, but it is shinier um, than the front. Let's see what that, like if you use the reverse as the front, what that would look like. Pretty, it did get this weird 
press in it though. I hope that that comes out easily because that is along a lot of these scallops. Anyways, so there is the back side, I think, and this is the front side. Sort of hard to tell on this because there's no selvage, but this looks more suede to me than this does. But um, you can get an idea for the contrast there too. Yeah, really cute. And the drape is really nice. So this to me would make like a really, gosh, like, I don't know, like a really cute top or I, would, I don't know that I would use it for a skirt, um, but maybe like a um, tunic Bible tunic could be really cute out of this. Something like A-line and flowy because you can tell this has a lot of really great drape to it. So that could hang really nicely. Um, and then the color is like super perfect for spring. So yeah, I think I'm pretty excited about this. I still can't believe it's only $7 a yard. Um, they have 31 yards of this in stock and yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say about this one. Faux suede, unique double border, double border cut out flowers with scallop edge. 15% four weight stretch. That's something I didn't mention. So yeah, they're suggesting lined skirts and dresses, tops and more. So, oh yeah, there is some stretch to it. Can y'all see that? Like not a ton, but still like something. Look at that, see? That's cool. I love the stretchy fabric. So yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think um, I should make out of this. What would y'all make out of it? Y'all always have really good ideas. So let me know. So I'm gonna go pre-wash these, as you always should, and start daydreaming of some new spring projects. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye.